Hey guys, welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, we uh, went through plenty of storyline. Uh, we found out that Peach is okay, and we met another character, Twink the Star. And uh, like I said in the, last part, in the last part, we're actually gonna meet Twink right over here. Or wait, maybe it's over. Oh, it's across the bridge. Jeez. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. See, how the heck does he know what Mario looks like if he's never met them? him? Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Think the stars, I found you! You are a star, though. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring you, some bring you something. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this, here, take this. T this is it, take this. Oh, you got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action command. Really? No, the most useful thing in the game. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Since I'm not really good at explaining it myself, even though I could show you myself, it's just going through this is a little easier to show you guys. Hang on, you, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. First, Mario, choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. So, yeah, just choose anyone, but Goombar is the only one right now, so... Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Press A right before landing. Right now, just before stomping on the enemy, press A at, th at the exactly at this moment. When you see the nice appear, it means you successfully used the action command. When you do... When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombari, you try and attack Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Oh, squish. Right now, press A just before the attack strikes you. And we can guard. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often, you'll have to use different techniques to use the, to make the action command depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Once you choose an enemy to attack, uh, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. You gotta hold it. When the star flashes, as soon as your power reaches its maximum, that's when you let go. Alright, you success successfully use the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. Uh, I, uh, that's all I'm doing. You don't need to practice anymore? That's our Mario, you're a quick learner. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. The reason I'm not doing any more of that is because I really want to go ahead and get through this part. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! Net, you'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Because we got a little mini boss right here. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I follow you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Now, this is just like any other ordinary Magic Koopa that you'll find later in the game. They have 8 HP, I believe. And, yeah. Let's go ahead. Now, we can also do the double uh, act command with Goombario so he can do the same thing. Okay, that attack's a little hard to block. Although I don't remember their attacks only doing 3 damage. And that's it! 16 star points, too. We'll level up! Yes! Um, I'm actually good with 10 HP at the moment, but upgrade wherever you like to. I'm gonna be upgrading my FP. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's Princess Peach side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. And he's gonna... He forgot to do something, actually. Of course. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you a message for Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help you both. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle, what a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. And I really want to hurry up and finish this part. Five minutes left. 
I want to finish this before we have to go into chapter one, because I don't want to make like a little short part after this. Oh, Mario! Oh, crap, I went through that too fast. Let's go back. Oh, Mario! Marlon was looking for you. He lives in, the, in that house over there with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. And it's rude for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, so even if, when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out, out of his house at all. Merlon is right over here. Merlon is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. Oh, this part's funny. What the? Why is somebody sleeping in the front in front of my house? Wait a minute. This face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. God, I really want to get this part up finished. Even though we only got four minutes left. Now he's going to tell us a story. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an orc something came to me. I also discovered something important that concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things which I must speak of. It's a very long story, and I will try to shorten it. Where should I start? Long story, long story, dot, 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 dot. Mario's asleep. Huh? Hey, Mario, are you listening to me? Oh, alright. So anyway, this is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me, and I can predict the path that you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal is to save Prince Peach as, main, as quickly and humanly as possible, but according to my second sight, your path you must first take is to the Great Fortress the Koopa, of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, you head east on the road in front of, to of the Toad House. So we're going to go there first. Okay, I think I can finish this part up in time. So that would be right over here. But we got some suspicious looking Koopas here. Uh, Koopas. I just gave that away. Toads! See, you don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopas would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad for them. Whatever. But I'm actually going to go ahead and save real quick, too. So the one obvious thing to do is go back to Merlon. Don't talk to him in front of the crystal ball. Come over here. Come again? Strange shows blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll see what's going on. I wanted to beat you to the door. Of course, we can't move until he actually goes out the door. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm. You aren't Toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. This part's awesome. Lightning bolts! <laughs> just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How, how'd you guess it was us? You're perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Mario, those impostors were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to, to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. So you get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shell Koopa. This is a strange port in, uh, in, Koopa, in Koopa Village. You might find something there that'll help clear it up. I must return home now. Wow, okay, I got this... I got all that done in time. So, when we enter that path, that's gonna go to Koopa Bro... That's gonna, like, lead into Chapter 1. So, I'm actually gonna save that for the next part. So, we got HP and everything. Yeah, everything's full. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna go into this part up here. I'm glad I finished this in time. Um, yeah, like I said. In the next part, we start Chapter 1. And... Yeah. <laughs> I really need to plan out these things before I start babbling, but yeah, so if you like this part, subscribe to me, give me five star views down below, that good stuff, and I will see you guys when we start chapter one.